Hey, welcome back to Lori Farm, everybody. Uh, today we're going to be doing a hydraulic fluid change on this old 1949 8N tractor. So to start, there's a, there's actually three main drain areas on the tractor that you're going to want to drain from directly below the gear shift. But on my tractor, I don't know what the previous owner did. I have no idea. This thing almost looks like it was either mangled up or welded on or something. I'm not going to be taking that off today. I'm a little bit worried that once I get it off, I'm going to have a problem. So we're going to start on this bolt over here. It's right next to the exhaust. And uh, I think I've watched a few videos and guys have said that theirs is a 9 16 Mine's a 3 quarter. I don't know if, uh, if it was changed out at one time, which is why it's a 3 quarter. But that's where we're going to start. Um, the tractor should hold 5 gallons of hydraulic fluid when um, when it's full. So I have a three gallon bucket here, so we're gonna have to stop at some point. I've actually never taken this bolt out. I've done changes on it before, but I always took the, the uh, big one here in the back loose um, exclusively, but I thought today I'd try this one. All right, well, we let that drain out of there a little bit. This. Uh, this rear one, I think, is an inch and uh, inch and a sixteenth, which I don't have that socket, so I'm going with uh, an inch and an eighth that I have uh, put a rag in just to get this thing loosened up. Like I said, there should be five gallons in here, so I got a little three-gallon bucket, so we might stop a little ways and and uh, go pour out into a bigger bucket and come back and get the rest. Well, while that's draining down on the bottom of the tractor, we're gonna open the cap here up on the top for the fill. It uh, it looks like it's a, looks like it's a bolt, but it's actually not. Kind of like a uh, radiator cap almost. I'm actually surprised the old oil doesn't look too bad. So that's a good sign. I remember the first time I changed it, it uh, it was pretty white and scummy. Well, there's probably a million great ways to fill, but that's the way I'm gonna fill things up. The uh, the dipstick is over here underneath the uh, underneath the seat, and um, so we'll fill for a little bit, and then we'll we'll check our level and see how we're we're doing, and we'll check our fluids here. Pretty hard to see on there, but it should be right on the money. Well, we got the oil all put back and got the cover back on, so ready to go. We'll fire her up and see if she holds. Well, thanks for hanging out today, and uh, hopefully we all learned something, and maybe you guys want to check out this video right here. Have a great rest of your day.